Well, hello there! Welcome to your fifth Java Swing programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you something called checkboxes and combo boxes. So, without wasting time, let's just start it. So, first of all, we'll be learning how to create call something called checkboxes or J checkboxes. So, just create J checkbox and name it JB or CB, whatever you want. And new J check box and inside the checkbox you can in the constructor you can pass two things first of all the string that will be displayed before the checkbox uh, like I have named here Java and then you can press it uh, then you can pass either true or false I'm passing here false so the checkbox will not be checked from the beginning if I pass true here then the checkbox will be uh, true from the beginning now let's add it and you will see it now added it and let's uh, run it. Wow, that's a checkbox. That's a cool looking checkbox. But what's our background gone? I'm sorry, by some mistake I actually removed the background code. So here's our checkbox with the background and we can set it and deselect it. Now since we have passed false here, it is false from the beginning. But if we pass true here, as you can see now if we run here it, uh, it will be true from the beginning uh, that is it will be checked so let's create a couple of checkboxes I'm going to create three here and here I'm gonna add C++ and then we're gonna add C sharp here and remember we have to add all of them oh shit and remember to rename these things otherwise everything will just go mess up so here I have added all of this so let's run it cool Java C++ and C sharp since I have passed true inside three of these buttons all of these are checked if I pass false here as you can see now the C sharp is false cool isn't it so these are our checkboxes. Yeah, these things really becomes handy sometimes. Now let's learn about combo boxes. You have seen combo boxes everywhere and you will identify that right now. So just replace it with combo and again here just replace it with combo and inside combo box you don't have to pass anything. Okay. Just remove these things. Uh, just slip this and remove these things. So now a combo box is something like a menu. As you can see here, I press help, and here are some menus. And in the in the combo box, you will uh, see a lot of entries inside a box. Uh, it's better to show you it practically. So just in order to add items to it, we will just call the method dot add item. Okay, by add item, we can add here. So if you press Java here, we have added Java. Now we have we can add we can add oops C plus plus here. That looks great, and we can also add C sharp here as previously done, as we have done previously. So here we have added all of this to and we don't have to add this multiple times. We just added all of this to CB and we have added the CB or the combo box to here. So just run it. Wow, it really looks cool. So here we have Java, C++, C Sharp and we can check any of this and we can select any of these. These are the magic of combo boxes. So that's it for this tutorial. We just learned what are checkboxes and combo boxes and these things will become very very useful when programming real world things. So thank you very very much for watching this video. Please subscribe and check out my next video. Thank you.